I am very bad at sticking to my schedule and making sure that I get reviews done on time. But anyway, last time I talked about Power Core Combiner's Huffer. Today, we're going over Crankcase. Now, the last Power Core Combiner set I reviewed was an example of what two packs were like. Let me adjust the camera here. And so today, we're looking at a five pack. Now, the two packs came with one main robot and a minicon. The five packs came with one main robot and five drones. So let's take a look at the main robot, Crankcase. He is a repaint of Huffer and a really nice one. Honestly, I mean, the original vehicle mode on Huffer was pretty good, but I mean, I feel like this paint job suits it better. It kind of is like, um, it's clear they're going for almost like a Nemesis Prime or more like a, like a Scourge type with this. And I think this the truck, this is really like a, a really good homage to um, uh, R.I.D. Scourge, honestly, because the truck is the same, looks like the same model, the same colors. Got them teal windows, and they're, I think, even though they're more like turquoise, or I guess that'd be like a, I don't know, matrix green, if you want to call it. Um, I like some, I love the line detailing on the hood. It continues back with the faction logo. This is not a bad vehicle at all. Um, silver grill, sil um, not silver, uh, shiny blue headlights. On the back, you, you still have the same problems that Huffer did, whereas blue pegs in the back, eh. I feel like they fitted the color scheme a little better this time, but I mean, I don't know, they, it's still a, a problem. How does it roll? Rolls eh, nicely, even though it's trying to get some of the stuff crammed together is hard, but I mean, yeah. Rolls pretty, nah. It rolls okay, it's so tolerable at best. Um, silver smoke screen, smoke, <laughs> smoke screen, smoke stacks. Not much wrong with it. Um, I, I like the color scheme. This is a nice little truck to have on display. Now let's go over the uh, drones, Sally. Now, in Paracore Combiners, the drones were vehicles only that transformed into limbs for a giant robot. And if, yeah, we'll go over that in a minute. But yeah, this little mini cab, it's like ATV vehicle. Um, got a nice little red hood. Not much on it. It's, you know, some line detail on the side. You got articulate missiles that can rotate. No, that's nice. And also, there's a minicon port on the drones. That is weird, but I mean, it's, I guess it's cool they did it. Uh, nothing on the back. It rolls fine. Next up, got helicopter. Nice paint job. Nice silver on the front. Nice faction logo on the side, on the on the top. Got some cool little guns. Not quite sure the color scheme is, but you know, a it's, it is what it is. Rotates. So yeah, the drones are pretty okay. Yeah. Mini old thing here. That's pretty cool. Next up, we got this weird kind of spy plane. Um, uh, very armed, too. Like four guns in the front to fire at something. Nice. Can, that weird kind of like digital line texture that we see on crankcase continues on the drones. Like we see it here, too. Um, I don't think this guy has it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah. The, the helicopter does as well. Uh, yeah, they all have it, including this missile tank here, which looks like a really cool looking vehicle. Got that same line detailing, this time in green, which is purple. Nice little front hood, very evil looking. See, the drones themselves are nice, lo are nice little vehicles. And by the way, the drones in this set are called Destrons. See, each power core combiner set was called blank with blank. So the five packs, there was like blank with Combaticons or something. Uh, this set is called Crankcase with Destrons. So, yeah, they actually named the set Destrons. That's pretty cool. I'm going to set my water, then we'll, we will turn into robot mode a bit. Mm. Alright. Let's transform Crankcase into robot mode, because there's not much else I can say about Crankcase other than the paint job that I didn't already see on Huffer. So, again, like we mentioned before, Crankcase slash Huffer himself is not that bad. Transformation is exactly the same. Yeah, it rotates up. Even though, oh, I'll go to, I'll go to in a minute. You know, split the legs, fold down these really tight arms. Ah, there we go. Jeez, rotate the forearms. Ah, 
flip up the head, and I'll move the drones out of the way for now, because we will go back to them. Set up crankcase. And here's crankcase in row mode. Now, what I said earlier about um, this being an homage, or maybe not, maybe not intentional, but I think looks like a pretty good homage to R.I.D. Scourge is that, I mean, look at the robot mode. I'll zoom in on the head first, because we always do that first. I mean, got the red eyes for the visor, silver on the mouth. And also, we got the color scheme. The transformation is very similar into the original. I mean, the way the arms fold out, the legs are in the back here, and it kind of goes upward like this. Like this really does look like a like a bait like a Bayverse version of R.I.D. Scourge. I think it, I, I like it just for that alone. You know, um, the color scheme is mostly the same, except for there's a lot less teal, vibrant. I mean, there's some on the back, but it's when you look on the front, not a lot of that 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 kind of greenish blue turquoise is gone. And then you got the red visor, got some of it down here. The details, molding details, are pretty much the same as they were on Huffer. Um, again, however, the arms aren't painted silver here, so they just kind of blend in, which, eh, it's okay, I guess. Would have liked if they were painted silver, um, or at least gray. Uh, same thing, though, is a problem on mine, is that these ball joints are really loose, so, I mean, yeah, these, his forearms don't, like, they wiggle so much, they don't hold in the slightest. Um, but these joints up here are, are too tight because, like on Huffer, look at that. There's like no, look at that, look at there. There's like no room for movement. You gotta like squeeze it around and it's like, it feels like it's gonna break half the time. I think it did snap, yeah. Look at that. If we'll zoom in, there's a crack there. Can you see it? Feel focus, yeah. Because there's literally no air to like just move it. I mean this one's okay but like this side no it's like so damn tight because oh well, I shouldn't say that word but like, I mean yeah you get it because like there's just no room to move it you know uh, so you have one joint that's really tight and then the forearms which I mean yeah they're too loose um, but other than that if you just stand him up he looks pretty cool articulation same you know, heads on a ball joint we already went over these. Pretty impressive double elbow, I'm not gonna lie. Um, knees, or I guess feet go backward and forward and back. Why is the camera unfocusing? There we go. Legs go outward, the knees, eh, good knee, no feet movement. So again, pretty much standard articulation for a 2010-2011 Scout class figure in the I guess Bayverse line, but that's not what you buy this figure for. Oh no! You see, the Power Core Combiners five packs were combined into Super Robot. So we already went over the um, torso mode in the Huffer review, but I'll, I'll transform the torso mode because we're actually going to use it this time. Oh, and by the way, he still has a peg here. So a another Minicon from another I guess Decepticon two pack. And go on top of them, so that's pretty cool. They had the interchangeability, but it didn't always work. So, you start by putting the head back. I think we went over this. And, well, I guess we'll do the top first. So, fold the arms up, and then they're supposed to peg in on the side here, but they like to come undone a lot. Oh, now I'm moving my camera around. Yeah, see, look, it's not, there's not, really clearance so it's gonna come on pegged again fold the arm fold the elbows all the way and then they just kind of peg on there that's not really good a good strong connection it kind of sucks but I mean it looks cool at least get the blue pegs out like that get the blue pegs out down here and then fold, kind of rotate, not rotate, but um, unhook the legs and pad them into a new section right there. Right there. 
that, there you go. And then reach in here, unhook this without the head. And torso mode. I guess we'll zoom in on that. Wow. You know what? I don't feel like refilming this review all over again, so I'm actually just going to leave that in the footage. I do not care. I do not care. Gladly leave that in the footage. Anyway, here is the head. And I kind of dig it. You know, it's got green eyes. Uh, on Huffer, the uh, horns were painted. Here they're not, but I don't mind because black kind of suits the theme. Looks very evil. Got some good light piping. You know, it's not a bad head. But now we get into what Powered Core Combiners is really about. Let's take these drones and plug them on. Now you're thinking, how do you transform the drones? Well, here's a neat part. You don't. You don't. Tra the drones will transform themselves by plugging in. So I'll take uh, the car here, plugs in that blue peg, and you just kind of. There you go, it like, it does it itself. You'll see that again. You push, you push in on this, and all this just kind of on springs comes out. So you plug it in, and boom, that's a foot. The helicopter, okay, well I gotta move this down and kinda move this out of the way. But you plug it in, and, come on. There you go. There's another foot. You can stand up crank ace here. I can't even see him. Crap. Boom. <laughs> he is pretty tall. Um, you take in the plane, plug it in like that. Oh, and then see his arm came undone. And then you take the missile tank, plug it in right there. And then fold that out. And hopefully that's on camera. Stand them up, and there is Crankcase properly combined with his little drones, his Destron drones. Put them back. There you go. And it's a very ugly mess. I mean, just... Mm. Alright, let's go over why... See this? This is why Power Core Combiners was a complete failure, because this was the final result when you combine them. It's like, okay, you got... One, the limbs... See, he's too big, we'll it on camera. The limbs have practically no articulation, alright? You, head, you got heads on a ball, okay, but because of the way the arms accordion out, it's all one solid piece, which means there's no elbow, so... Forward and back movement, that is all you get. That is the only thing he can kind of move upward, but not that He can only ever move forward and back, and this is coming undone too. See, I hate this. Uh, move the arms out of the way, move them upward. The legs, the legs on this specific version have a little more. It depends on what the torso mode is like, you know? Legs move back, okay. Do you, you want to see knee articulation? Check this, check this out. There you go. That's all the knee you get. Um, the bottom, you could you could argue on this version that the um that could be a knee, but I mean, eh, not really worth it. And also, he kind of wobbles because the feet are not identical. Like here's one foot, and that's a pretty good looking foot. Now here's the other foot. Now that's I mean, you gotta like see, so kind of like. And wobbles around a bit because the feet aren't stable because one foot's all awkward and whatnot, all makeshift. And also, you can barely even make out what the hands are. Like on this version, okay, here's fingers. I guess here's a thumb. On this version, you don't you don't even see it first, but there is like I can zoom in. On, oh crap! I'm sorry about the technical difficulties. I really don't feel like refilming this whole damn video, so I'm just gonna if if, if, if there's um if there's a miss click or something, I'm just leaving it in. Look at that. See, there's fingers molded in, but you can't actually use them. And if you look at it from a distance, it doesn't look like it has a hand. It just looks like it has a little nub, I guess. So, again, these things are 
yeah, the final result in a lot of these was so just ugly. I mean, the limbs, like the arms looked like they went off in an explosion or something. I can't even get him on camera. Because he is pretty tall. They do get pretty tall when you combine, I'm not gonna lie, that's one positive. But, yeah, this right here, this is why nobody liked Paracore Combiners. It was a, really, a disaster of a line. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I guess if you just leave it on your shelf, it looks, I mean, this is, this, this is one of the okay looking ones. There are others out there in the line that were just awful. This, no. I mean, it's just so... Eh. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done talking with Power Core Combiners. I did, I talked about the, um, uh, crap. All the issues that the two packs had in my Huffer review, and this video explains the issues with the five packs. So hopefully that wraps up my thoughts on PCC. If you have any other, like if you really want to know how bad, like if you want to know in detail how bad the Paracore Combiners line got, go watch TG Omega's Plastic Attic video on the, on the series. He pretty much talks, goes in detail about every single failure that Paracore Combiners had. But, but now that I've reviewed this guy, I am now officially done with Paracore Combiners. Hopefully my next video review will be something way better than this.